Hello, good day. My name is Chris Njoku. Today we'll be looking at assignment one that was given out and then how to go about it using a smartphone. So this is the assignment. We are looking at sales of bags of cement in the first 20 weeks of 2022. So this is it from week one to week 22. So this is it, week 1 to week 22. And then we also have warehouses from warehouse 1 to warehouse 12. So now we want to look at how we can answer these questions. So question 1 say what is the weekly sum of sales? So now we want to quickly do that to say weekly sum of sales which means we want to look at the sales of week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. So talking about weekly sum of sales means that in week one, we want to get the total sum of sales in all of the warehouses that are selling these bags of cement. So we're looking at summing up all the sales for warehouse one to warehouse 12 so which means we are going to drop our cursor somewhere here and we can just type one here so that we know that we are solving question one so we put one on top there so now let's look at um, the solution so we're looking at summing up all the c's so we say equals sum so this is your sum you click on it and now you can go and select the data range so this is how you go about it you drop your cursor from the very first and then you drag it till you see the last on the list and then you stop there you can see what i've done so you can look at your work and see what needs to go out so you can see what i did now i click on that so that i can delete every other item that are not meant to be there so what you see here now is some um column e4 to p4 so now that i'm done i'm very sure that i've written out what i'm supposed to do correctly look at what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this this green sign i'm going to click on it if i do i will get my solution so i click on it so it's showing me that about 1800 and uh, um is it uh, 1480 bucks were sold now i want to auto fill so this is what you do you click on this some of you might be having challenge with that you can see fill there so you click on fill when you click on fill these zeros here this circle here will change sign so watch me do it i click on fill so you can see it has changed now that it has changed i can hold on one of these and drag down so watch me do i hold it and drag down so this is how you can auto fill so some other application might be different but similar when you see comment clear fill some will write auto fill for you so that is what you do you click to auto fill now we are done with question one let's look at question two saying what is the weekly average sales work is the weekly average sales so now we are looking at using the average um function so we say equals equals average so you see the average function here so you quickly tap on it and then it covers the rest so what are we looking at again the data range so we go and then select from the very first warehouse to the other one 
to the end we already know it as e4 to p4 so in order not to make mistake you quickly drop your cursor and delete any other thing that is not meant to be there so you can see i'm doing that now deleting the minor signs the the dot the comma signs so that what will be left is only e4 to p4 so that's important the syntax of a cell is so just like i did in the first place i'm going to take the green um sign i've done that so this is the average sales 123.33 now i'll do my autofill again i tap on the first circle and then you see comment clear fill so i click on fill and then hold down and drag so i've done my autofill remember that is two so question two so we put two on top so that we know what we're doing i can even now autofill for the numbers one to seven so watch me do it now fill and then i drag down to seven and stop at seven so this one is autofilling same number if you want to autofill different numbers see what i'm going to do watch me do that let me clear this first clear so watch me do i think this is two so watch me do that i drop my cursor here and first hold to this first oh then i click on my fill handle before i start dragging you can see as i'm dragging it's changing till i get to seven i release it see how i went about it i will first drop your cursor and then um, cover it to the second one then try to bring in the autofill handle by clicking the circle and click on fill it changes to green then you start dragging so now let's move on we are on the third in the series so what is on the third one we're looking at what is the weekly maximum sales so you are going to use the maximum function now so the essence of this assignment is for you to start learning how to use functions so we type equals sorry, equals equals me max max so you see it there's a max max represents maximum sorry max represents maximum so this is it max so you quickly pick it max and then our data range is from e4 to p4 so we can just quickly type it you can see whether capital or small letter is the same thing e4 to p4 so you can see e4 to p4 and then we we'll drop our cursor and pick and take away everything that is not meant to be there so watch me do that so delete every other thing that is not meant to be there you can see the commas the full stops every other thing they are not meant to be there the only thing we should be left for left with is e4 to p4 so you can see equals max bracket open e4 to p4 so i click on my green sign and then it has given me that the maximum sales of week one is 300 so 300 bags of cement were the maximum amount of cement that was sold in that week so we might just want to identify the warehouse that sold that but before we do that let's just quickly auto fill so i click on the circle and i click on my fill handle and then i drag down so i have done that so you now see different um weeks and their maximum sales so you see the week one we had 300 as a maximum says let's try to locate the warehouse that got that we have six we have six 
actually got that maximum sales of 300. So now we are done with uh, question 3. We move to our question 4 that says what is the weekly minimum sales? So we use the minimum function now. So we say equals min mean. So we click on it and then we say E4 to P4. That is the data range. And then we delete any other thing there. The commas, the full stops. If you don't, it will give you error. So that might just be the mistake some of you will make. So you can see I'm left with equals mean bracket open E4 to P4. So I pick on this, told me that 100 was the minimum sales of that um, week one. So I quickly on to fill, so I click on my fill handle and then I drag down. So I've taken care of question four. So we move over to question five. Question five says, what is the average sales of warehouse one to six? So warehouse one to six is our interest. So what do we do? We just say equals average equals average. What's our interest? Our interest is warehouse one to four. So we go and then select warehouse one to four as our range. So this is warehouse one to warehouse six i beg your pardon we have six to we have six i beg your pardon so this is this to we have six and then any other thing there we delete it you can also use your um operators to do that but this is the quickest way to go about it so you can see that our interest is from e4 to j4 that is what represents whereas one to six so we we'll click on our green sign and then we have it that the average sales of week one to six is 146 so we we'll quickly auto fill and drag down so next is our question six question six says what is the average sales of whereas seven to twelve so similar to what we have done but in this case our target is warehouse seven to twelve so we say equals average and so we go and select our interest we're looking at we are seven to twelve so this is where seven to twelve which is our interest now so we delete any other thing there any other thing there we take it away so this number we take away number we take away the dots we take away the commas so you see we have equals average bracket open k4 to p4 so we pick our sign again it shows us that the average sales of uh warehouse 7 to 12 is 100 so we quickly auto fill hold down and drag so one thing about data analysis is that as you are starting you'll be seeing how to compare you can see that from comparison now the average sale of warehouse 1 to 6 is much more than the average sales of warehouse 7 to 12 in the first week but in the second week the average sales of warehouse 5 to uh, 7 to 12 is more than the average sales of warehouse 1 to 6 so this is just data analysis but as you are doing this you'll be learning a lot from it now we go to the very last questions the very last question which is talking about let's look at it you say what is the average sales of each warehouse 
for the entire 20 weeks. I'm very sure some persons will make mistake with this. You say, what is the average size of each warehouse? When you talk about each warehouse, we are talking about warehouse one, warehouse two, warehouse three. So let's use warehouse one as an example. Now, meaning the first 20 week what is the average sales of warehouse one so to do that we drop our cursor below warehouse one you can see where i dropped my cursor you can see where i dropped it below warehouse one because our interest now is just on warehouse one not on all the warehouses so i drop my cursor here the question say what is the average sales of each warehouse so let's start with warehouse one so we drop our cursor there and say equals average and then we select the data range of warehouse one talking about week one to week 20 so and then any other thing that is not meant to be there we erase it we take away the numbers we take away the full stops and the commas so this is the average sale of week one so we press our green sign now that we have gotten the average sale of warehouse one i beg your pardon we can now autofill and drag down like we have been doing so we drag down to warehouse 20. so these are the average weekly sales of the average sales of each of the warehouses for the first 20 weeks so the question say what is the average sale of each warehouse for the entire 20 week so this represents the average sale of warehouse one this 166 represent the average sale of warehouse two this 164 represent the average sale of warehouse three so get this right you must listen to questions and think about it very well before you embark on analyzing data don't just assume that because i've been doing all my analysis from this end every question will be answered here no you can see that the last question is different from every other question the last question say what is the average sales of each warehouse not all of the warehouse now assuming i was talking about all of the warehouse i might just come here and then select data that involves all the warehouse but now we're looking at each warehouse and then we use warehouse one as an example we start from warehouse one and now autofill you now see that there's difference between the average sales of warehouse one and warehouse two for the 20 weeks let's say the average sale of warehouse one is 163.7 the average sale of warehouse two is different which is 160 the average sale 166 i beg your pardon and the average sales of warehouse 3 is 164 the average sales of warehouse 4 is 155 so you can even from here check the warehouse that had the minimum average sales of the first 20 weeks i'll tell you something you see this data here now we can analyze over 50 details from it if we go on and on i can bring out 50 questions from this little data here 50 questions from this data and then you will find out that all of these data are analyzable these 50 questions you can analyze it i can decide to compare with two average sale to week 12 average sales i can decide to compare week one average sale to week seven average sales i can decide to compare the sum of the warehouses sale for each week a, a whole lot of questions i can bring out over 50 questions from this little data that is the beauty of data analysis i do hope this video will help anyone that will be looking through to get what is needed so you can see that question one to six is here and then our question seven was answered here so we can just put seven here so that you can understand what we have done i can decide to give every of this um 
cells where I drop the questions a color. You can do that. Just play around your phone. You'll find out where it is. I don't want this video to be too long. That is why I'm going to stop there. So thank you very much for watching this video.